seen it anywhere. Mm. Yeah, you don't see that anywhere because that, that is how uh, it, would, it would come up. So you would see this combined, right? Yeah, both of them. Yeah. So now try to create uh, pivots on top of it.
Ms. Prozen? Okay. Is something happening on the screen? Okay. Thanks, Yutma. Okay. Can you, can you maximize this? Uh, Okay, can you maximize this? No? Yeah, let's see. Uh, so customer ID, customer name, ship mode. So where did you select this from? I mean, is, is it coming up from the specific query that you have? Yeah, it was from that. This. Merge tool, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wasn't so, showing up here. It was not showing up in, in merge two. No. Okay. So uh, then did we did we link did we link them in the merge two? If Maybe you can go to the here. Yeah, yeah, please. Let's do that. That's what I did. No, I'm saying the connection. Okay, let's try to build a connect. Uh, Okay, go to the power pivot. Go to the power pivot on the top, please. Uh -huh. So, detect a relation. Uh -huh. Section. Okay. So, can you can you detect a relation between the return and orders? Try try to try to do that. Or maybe if you can give me control, I'll, I'll quickly get that. This couple of options are not really available on on your machine. You know, not uh, that's that's quite surprising. Yeah. So let's let me look at it. Okay. It seems like the uh, power pivot isn't working. I mean, it's, it's showing us blank. Okay, let's let's try to add this to the model and then see if that works. Should work now. Okay. Now, the order ID. Do we have that order ID here? It's towards the end. Towards the end. Okay. It's created. Okay. Let's go to the now. 
Uh, okay, let's try to save this book on. So even without merging, so when you have this, I think there are some limitations on the screen. Okay, what I can do is I can create a pivot table. Okay, this is external data connections and call it as orders and create a pivot table. Right, I have the so let's put the order ID. Let's get this out here. Okay, now now I would need to add the other tables as well here. Okay, for which where I could simply get them union. Okay, simply append this to. This is good. And in terms of the returns, so this is what I have. Okay, right. And that should directly come up here. You know. and this is not working. The relationship which should exist, okay, that is at least intact. Okay, so I'll tell you uh, the way that you get it. I mean, that's not coming up actually here is. is say we can you can you can still merge okay let me try to edit this out you know if if you're able to get this merge one okay so do you see the columns here towards the end or what okay. right in status okay It shows as null. I think I think there is some issue. Okay, let's try to do this again since we have linked it. As well, not in. every column is not every order has been returned, so maybe you did it with that. Okay, okay, that's fine. So and orders and returns. Okay, order ID is here. And this is here, okay. All matching from the left to the right, we get it. Okay, that's absolutely fine. It's most three, okay. You see this now you get to see this two pivots okay so what i do is maybe if i have the order id here coming up onto the rows right and then watch three I'm 
much to that too. What is this? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, maybe it, it happened on the particular thing. Okay, so even if I'm having a country, right? I think maybe that's not making sense. Yeah. So so that's that's exactly not working as expected. I think I think there are some of the uh, you know, restrictions that are there on the PC, you know, like we see, and that's that's working on my PC and that isn't on yours. So usually this is the procedure that we take in, into consideration while we create those graphs and the unions and the merge that, that would happen on top of it. Okay. So I can I can replicate this on my PC and show it to you, you know, if, if uh, if you're okay with that and we have time to do that okay mm -hmm. so these two these two are you know the uh, merge rows that we have got and what i've got it from here is is the following okay it's more story i have it and i have more active and see this now in the all where is the orders in returns okay let's try to get this out here uh, okay orders is where i have the go oh, id out of id here okay return status okay. so if you see this there's going to be a return in kind of a blank return in blank because you know that's that's not fully kind of an uh, you know uh, status that we have it so it's not really one to one so that's where you get to see this information but in general you know once if it is properly linked you know this is how it usually works when you try to create a relation and then you have the uh, data on the pivot uh, for your usage okay now let's quickly move on to Okay, let me show this page. Okay, now let's move on to the other exercise, other example that I gave you, the amazing mark uh, etgo.xlsx. If you can open that, please. So here, it's almost the same thing. Okay, I have the list of the orders in order breakdown. Can you go to the order breakdown, please? Okay. So the order, we have uh, the product name, discount, sales, profit, quantity, category, and subcategory here. And the list of orders is going to be, the first step is going to have a different set of information. So the common joint is going to be on the order ID. First, let's try to get this on the um, axis import this and try to link these two. And uh, are you aware of the calculations on the axis? I have this imported in the axis. You already have, okay. Uh, are these connected? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. Yes. They are, okay. So, yeah, yeah, right. So now let's try to create a combination of this, you know, where, um, okay, you have a, you have a query where you have everything from both the tables, okay? Let's go to the query and view the data. Order ID and the product name is, is what we want.
Okay. So it's only uh, the two records that we see, right? The order ID and the product name. What I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, can we can we include all the fields, all the columns that are required onto this, onto this query? Maybe say pick up the first five from the first table and the uh, last table. We have all the information over there. Okay. okay, so we've got all the list of the orders, right? Uh, here, <clears throat> mm -hmm. right. So can we go to the uh, the columns that you included from the uh, second table? The product name, yeah, 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 you have it. So this this absolutely working fine for you in the access, but you know, um, not quite sure, you know, on the options on the Excel that you have, but this is, this is a way to do it. And if you were to represent this in the, uh, you know, in, in, in the graphic format, uh, what would you choose to represent? Only uh, a category, by category, I would want the percentage. Let's make it simple. I just need the category and the percentage and, and the profit and the percentage.
so while we do that, you know, what I would recommend is uh, in Access Database, I would strongly recommend that we have, uh, we go through this uh, uh, in the queries, you know, whatever is just required. So that we create a separate query for that with just the columns that we require. I didn't really hear what you said. Okay. So can you can you hear me now? No, I can hear you. I didn't like understand it. Quite follow. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Yeah, I'll let me repeat it. So while you wanted to create a chart for this, okay. So do not do it on the same larger query you know take a sub query of just what you require and then uh, i mean when it's a query yeah create the data set and then uh you know go ahead with the chart labeling you know instead of taking all the information right from here so no no it's not the uh auto id so what i was requesting earlier was to go by the region and the profit Profit. Yeah. You said category. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by category. I mean, when, when, when I meant that, the category and the profits, or regional profits, or something like that. Yeah. So, can we combine them? How do we combine them? Do we do do we create a just a query or is it a cross tab query? Okay, let's try to do this. Okay, on on your Excel. Okay, let's try to do that. <laughs> we keep jumping back and forth between the programs. Let's no, just no, stick no. with one. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry, what I meant was. If if it is on the on the region, right? Mm -hmm. it, it just needs to be one line for central. Okay. If you get this in Excel, you know what I would want to show you was you know how do we aggregate that? Okay. But do we do this in the cross tab here? That's that's my question. Yes. Okay, can can we do it in the cross tab? Because you, you go to the data, I'll show you how how our data is being represented. Okay. Can you can you go to the data? Simply simply run the query. Run the query. Mm 